The Tesla inaugural AI day was full of unexpected twists and turns. The most impressive was a humanoid robot that would be powered by the company's artificial intelligence routines for vehicles. That's right, you got it accurately. In our today's video, we're going to talk about this and we're going to discuss the Tesla bot. But before we go on with our video, don't forget to subscribe to Glory Investing Show for new and spicy videos. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. It's basically going to start with uh, uh, work that is boring, repetitive and dangerous. The robot is a non-automatic prototype that serves as a testing ground for the company's neural network and Dojo supercomputer. TeslaBot is a 5'8 robot that can perform complex activities such as connecting bolts with a wrench or shopping duties such as picking up goods from shops. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, stated that the robot will be developed for risky, monotonous or boring human work. The prototype humanoid, he added, will usher in a new era in which physical labor will be a choice. Musk presented the robot specifications in a series of slides, presenting it as a tool for freeing humans from mundane tasks. He envisions a robot that moves at no more than 5 miles per hour, stands 5 foot 8 tall and weighs 125 pounds. According to him, the robot's size and speed are designed to allow people to overcome or flee from it. In his presentation, Musk stated, Of course, it's supposed to be nice and travel around a world made for people. If you speak to it and tell it, please pick up that bolt and connect it to the automobile with that wrench, it should be able to do it. Please go to the shop and fetch me the following groceries. It should be able to comprehend. This sort of thing. I believe we will be able to do this. Tesla as a corporation has no experience with the type of engineering required to develop and construct a humanoid robot. Almost immediately after the presentation, the firm began looking for actuators, mechanical engineers and robotics architects to help with the Tesla bot. Those picked will work on a humanoid robot that can assist factory workers in arduous and exhausting tasks, according to the job description. It's uncertain if Tesla will be able to meet Musk's aim of a robot prototype next year. Some were enthralled by Musk's presentation and seemed to believe that Tesla would be able to solve the obstacles that would prevent them from achieving their goal. As a robotics enthusiast, the unveiling of a humanoid Tesla bot piqued my interest. Of course, building the mind, the robot that becomes a friend and companion to people uh, rather than just a servant that performs dull and dangerous jobs, has been a lifetime goal for me. But in my opinion, these two challenges should be solved simultaneously and I believe they will be. Lex Freeman, a famous AI researcher and podcast presenter, stated in a YouTube review of Tesla's AI Day. If successful, the Tesla bot may just solve the latter difficulty of vision, movement and object manipulation and I want to play a tiny role in addressing the former challenge of human-robot connection and yes, friendship. I think a lot of people are skeptical that this is going to be ready and, and even in a prototype form next year. Elon Musk claims to have a humanoid robot to show off next year, but the iconoclastic entrepreneur has a track record of broken promises and forecasts. It's important going through them again before scheduling your next move around the Tesla bot's appearance. Musk said during Tesla's AI Day event that the automaker will have a prototype available as soon as next year to assist with dull, repetitive or risky activities. Musk demonstrated the notion with a PowerPoint presentation and a dancer dressed in a Tesla bot bodysuit on stage. It kinda reminded me of the botched Cybertruck armor glass display, which ended at two smashed windows on stage. The promise of a household robot is particularly difficult to accept at a time when Tesla is introducing a full self-driving option in its cars that, as my CNET colleague Brian Cooley writes, falls short of its moniker. Even Musk acknowledged on Monday that the current beta isn't fantastic. On the other hand, building a humanoid robot in a year would be a difficult task for any firm let alone one without a robotics team to start with. Many businesses have already been hindered by the challenges of humanoid robots. SoftBank has announced the semi-retirement of Pepper, a humanoid robot. And Amazon has allegedly spent four years and gathered a team of over 800 employees to work on an Alexa-enabled humanoid robot called Vesta after the Roman goddess of the hearth. Even Singularity Nets Grace, a successful humanoid robot, is simply the head and upper body of a woman, not a fully mobile humanoid. Tesla's announcement of an ambitious humanoid robot project with aggressive timetables but presumably no actual technology behind it has been met with a mix of amusement, bafflement and disdain by professional robotics academics. One reason for this is because humanoid robotics is a far more difficult application than it appears at first, according to SingularityNet CEO Dr. Ben Gertzel in an email to VoiceBot. 
Those of us who have worked on robotics for years and decades know that the humanoid robotic functionalities Musk casually promised are actually holy grail problems that are the focus of numerous global R&D projects and whose achievement will almost certainly necessitate both significant hardware advances and significant progress toward artificial general intelligence. No question, Tesla will make significant advances in the field of humanoid robots, but it will not be as quick, nor will the near-team deliverables be as attractive as Musk has led his audience to believe. Making a robot appear and act like a person poses several programming problems. Will the Tesla bot be able to walk bipedally, which is a sophisticated two-legged walk that humans have developed over millions of years? Or do a dance as the very obvious person in a Tesla robot suit did when Musk made the news at Tesla AI Day? According to Michael Peshkin, a robotic researcher at Northwestern University, jobs like these are frequently underestimated by the general public. Musk cited mundane tasks like putting in bolts or going grocery shopping, both of which would need a great deal of specialized adaptive programming. The robot would have to react and alter on the fly, which would be extremely difficult. What if the bolts aren't the right size, or the Honey Nut Cheerios are all gone from the store? This is in addition to Musk's depiction of the robot receiving spoken commands, implying a need for natural language processing. One of the things Musk gets right is that robots can go where human employees can't because the task is too risky or uninteresting. Why not make robots perform tasks that humans aren't supposed to do? Where the work is risky or where people aren't very good at, Peshkin explained. Allow folks to keep doing what they're good at. However, a robot that can listen to instructions and process language into a variety of tasks is not necessarily a robot that can listen to instructions and process language into a variety of tasks. A key problem with autonomous robots at the software and intelligence level is the huge diversity in human environments, Ben Amor added. In these situations, robots are unable to rely on a human programmer and must continually improvise and modify their behavior. Peshkin is credited with helping to develop the concept of cobots, which he defines as collaborative robots that work alongside people. Aren't there things where people can physically collaborate with robots, each giving their strengths, he wondered. It's simple to see how a well-trained assistance or booster robot may be a huge aid to humanity on Mars or in a risky environments like deep mineral mines. Musk's statements, according to Ben Amor, are an exciting rallying cry even if what he's proposing is still a long way off from our present robot capabilities. Mr. Musk is mostly a visionary who excels at uniting young and veteran scientists and engineers around a great objective, according to Ben Amor. He'll almost certainly employ an aspiring new generation of robotics along the road. Even completing a small portion of what he stated would be a significant step forward in robotics. Anyway guys, this is where we're going to end this video. If you liked the video and found it useful, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Tell your relatives and friends about it as well. We love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comment section below. Stay safe and take care!